Hi, welcome to Stampin' with Kay. Today we're going to make uh, this card right here. We're going to be using the uh, new pinwheel sizzlet from Stampin' Up. It was a lot of fun and I ha had a great time making this card. So let's get started. I'm going to start with a piece of Daffodil Delight cardstock. This is uh, five and a half by eight and a half, and I'm going to just fold that in half, make my base card a good score. And then I'm going to just take this and put it aside. The next piece I have, uh, we're going to be embossing, and we're going to use this with a cloudy day embossing folder. Don't know if you'll be able to see it good, but it, it's just fun. Uh, I've used it on several things now. But what I want to do is I just want to emboss about the top uh, two thirds of uh, the Whisper White cardstock. Now this piece is uh, four by, um, let's see, five and a quarter by four inches. And so to do that, I'm going to take my cardstock and I'm going to just lay it in the folder out like this and then run it through the big shot. So I've got that piece done. And then at this point, I'm going to want to make my pinwheels. So I took um, some designer series paper and... This is just a selection of, of some of the papers from the Rain and uh, Sunshine and Sprinkles uh, DSP. And because they're both uh, two sided, it was real easy to make the pinwheels. I tried uh, using cardstock with the sizzlet. Uh, it does not make a good pinwheel. That was a disaster in the making. This is the sizzlet that we're going to be using. And this is the finished pinwheel. So when you run it through the big shot, you end up with a piece looking like this. It gives um, pretty good uh, a cut, but in the, each corner, and I don't know if you can see it, there's going to be a little uh, very small hole. And the first thing I, I did was I just take my paper piercing tool and punch out these holes. And there's one on, on each corner. Um, and then there's going to be one in the middle. Once you've got that done, the easiest way I've found to do this is on the side where you've got your um, little opening, take your bone folder and just gently get this curving up. So you want to do that to all four sides. And then find my paper piercing tool. You could use, shoot, you could use a needle. You could use just about anything to do this. But I'm going to put my paper piercing tool in the center. And then I'm going to just start folding the pinwheel over. And once I have all four flaps down, I'm going to hold it real tight. And I'm going to take my tool out, and then I'm taking, you're going to take a small brad. Um, I've used it with some colored brads from the Brights collection. Uh, these are some silver mini brads. And by holding it real tight, all your holes are lined up. You just pull your brad through. And spread it in the back. And you've got your pinwheel. So for this card, I'm using two of them. Um, and so I've got these two made. And I'm going to be placing them about, about like that. I'm going to have a little overlap with the Daffodil Delight but not a whole lot. And I'm going to be using um, 
a two inch piece of uh, the designer series paper here so I'm, I haven't glued it down yet don't want to do that yet but I am going to lay it down here so I know exactly uh, how long to cut my baker's twine um, I've got some island indigo baker's twine that I'm going to cut and that's going to I'm going to use this uh, my uh, twirly bird stick okay at this point I've got uh, my twine laid out and what I found that held it best was I took a dimensional and I just stuck it on the twine about where I wanted the pinwheel to be and now at this point I'm going to put some snail on my two inch piece And then I'm going to lay that, and the snail's going to hold those pieces down. So I've got the dimensionals holding it and this piece of designer series paper. And then just attach my pinwheels. And now I'm going to just trim up this paper. Okay, at this point I've got my paper attached and the pinwheels are, are on and I want to apply this ribbon uh, just around, around like that. Okay, I've got my ribbon applied and the next thing I want to do is make a banner uh, doing the wishing you a truly whirly birthday. I'm using the Wishes Your Way stamp set. Uh, wishing you a truly holy birthday. Just just went with this card. I stamped it uh, using the Island Indigo um, on just a piece of Whisper White. And I'm going to make my banner. I'm going to cut up right at the middle. And then just come in from the sides. Take my bone folder. And just come this way and then this way. Give it a little little dimension and then I'm going to take um, a paper piercing tool let's do a little hole right there and I'm going to take one of the brads from uh, the Brights collection okay I've got my banner done I'm going to take my paper piercing tool and just make a hole stick the brad through And then I probably will take a glue dot and attach it right there to, just to keep it um, from coming apart. Then I'm going to take this and attach it to my base card. And there you've got your finished card. Uh, I'll be putting a piece of Whisper White cardstock on the inside and a sentiment and got a pinwheel card using the new pinwheel sizzlet. Thanks for joining me. Come back and visit at stampinwithk.com. Bye.